Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to the Long Dark, where things sound like they are not going too good so far. Last episode, against better judgment, I pushed us forward, and we're going to try going for the mine. However, we encountered our first Timberwolf pack in the region that actually, like, came after us. And it's kind of making me realize just how ill-prepared I was. I... But I feel like I have to keep pushing forward, otherwise we're basically just going to leave the region and we're never going to actually get up to the mine. So a storm's blown in, which might keep the wolves off of us. But we also have to be careful because that means it's probably very cold outside right now. Too heavy. Uh, let me get the matches out again. Okay, a little bit of coffee. And it's nice that we did find this trailer here for a little bit of uh, respite, but I can't stay here too long because I don't have the equipment or resources to do so. And yeah, we'll have to see how bad it is out. I have no idea where we are in relation to like distance still to go is a thing as well. Food-wise, we're not very good with. Oh, it is a hard blizzard out here. I... I mean, there is a little bit of firewood, so we could try making a small fire. But, oh man, yeah, I'm already, like, almost lost a quarter of my warmth, so we can't be outside too long. I don't think there's anything else I can really... Uh, find or do in here for the moment. You know what? I might as well actually look at breaking down some crates for firewood. Uh, sounds like it's still going pretty strong outside. If it wasn't as cold as it was... Oh! Actually, we found some wood matches thanks to breaking the crate down. That's just metal shelves and that. I don't have a hatchet to break down that. I don't have the hacksaw either. Okay, let me take a step outside. What's it like now? Is it still super blizzardy? Or is it just the wind's really strong? I think visibility even went down in the time that I was trying to break stuff. I do see some reishi mushrooms, so you know what, I might just quickly harvest these. Two, I think I need three total to, like, prepare them, but... I was trying to do anything right now to try passing some time and hoping all of this kind of blows through or mo makes its move out. Gotta talk about bad string of luck. At least I don't have any timber wolves seeming to be in the area at the moment, but I don't know if that'll change too quickly for us. Yeah, you know what? Let me craft all those. I need to find food. I'm, I know I'm getting hungry as well. Okay, it sounds like the wind might be dying down. Let me take a look. Oh, god damn it. Like, seriously, this couldn't have happened any other day. It had to be today in these circumstances. Man, there's no workbench in here to even try looking at stuff I could make or craft either. Damn it. I'm used to making bad decisions, but even I have to admit this one was a really, really bad one. Uh, you know what? I can at least open this up with can opener, have that, so we're not going to starve, at least not yet. I 
maybe what I'll do to try to fight the cold. Let me break down this old bedroll and then see if we can repair some of our gear. Because I think there's a few things that... Yeah, see, this is down to 39% now. Probably thanks to some of the wolf bites that it's taken. Oh. I want to take a peek out. And are we any better off? Okay, we're much better off. So I'm going to keep trying to push. I'm going to be ready to light this torch, because we probably will need it. And let's just keep on our way. It is super cold, but I at least have visibility now. Again, I have no idea how much distance I still need to cover to get up to where I want to go. We just have that. The mine is this way. Let's see if we can get lucky and find anything in this vehicle. Come on, block trunk means something good. Not a damn thing. Now it's like some place to escape this cold. Yeah, I know that too. Again, keep the torch handy. Truth be told, I can probably cycle towards it by just pressing like the light key or the light source's key. Actually, we do have full condition despite the wolf bites in that we suffered. So I'm a little surprised towards that. But too cold to think. I want to keep an eye on the right side. I remember as I was getting up towards the mine in Wintermute, there was like a lake with a little cabin on the opposite side of it. Oh, okay, we're actually close. We are closing in on the mine at least. But yeah, there's a promising shelter that may have some really good equipment in there. Uh, just be careful. Keep an eye out. Looks like we got a dead deer on the lake. Oh, you know what? Because I am lacking food right now, I might as well snag these while they're here. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps since we have absolutely nothing at the moment. And yeah, we can take a look and see if there's anything in this little cabin here. So it's at least a little bit of shelter. And we are closing in on the mine. Okay, so you can get up here and take a little peek inside. I think this is the exact same house you find. Like, it's the same model and uh, asset of a house. It's like Timberwolf Mountain's little mountaineering shack. It's also situated kind of in front of like a lake area. Okay, this is Bricklayer's Retreat. But if we can get inside, uh, the door's taken off, which ain't good. Flashlight, that actually might come in handy if we do get to the mine as an Aurora night. Uh, hacksaw, I guess we will take, just because those can be a little bit rare find. Candy bar, matches, matches. Oh, a hatch. This will come in handy. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, scrawled message. It's the best way down, which means best way up, too. Okay, we do have a fireplace. Uh, because I... Yeah, I'm not warming up in here. Maybe I will try a small fire. Let's just get ourselves with a little bit more warmth, and then we might be able to actually make it to the mine this episode. Come on, little fire. Yeah, come on. Please get your way through. I found a little bit of firewood, so we can at least... That should help warm things up. Toss a bit in. Yeah, 
There we go. We got a couple hours there. Roll Ray starting to get some heat back. Might as well eat what I can. I do kind of wish you could queue up how many of these you want to eat at a time, because we're going to basically just go through... I'll keep a little bit on me. I don't want to go through all of it. And actually, we have a lot of weight on us still. The hacksaw is probably a bit of it. Oh, you know what? Did I prepare the reishi mushrooms at all? I don't think I actually did. No, so you know what? We can do that. Okay, and we still got an hour and a half on the fire. I was hoping for a little bit more here, but I guess... Uh, two hours, but we don't have the fire lasting that long. We do have a little bed. You know what? Maybe we'll get a couple of hours of sleep in. Just to get us a little more rest, try to prep us for this last leg, and then head off and, and see how we do. Yeah, hypothermia risk was healed. Okay, it's not too cold out. Oh, I don't have... Oh, wait, I just had charcoal here. I might be able to just take a little bit from it. No. Oh, maybe because it's still burning. Come on, just say, like, you go out, so then I can maybe grab a charcoal. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see what this says for, like, where we're at on the map. Oh, shoot. We have... I think the mine is, like, up here, so we still do have a fair ways to go. And the wind, and that's picking up. I'm hoping that might mean a storm is coming in, and that could possibly keep wolves away from us. But I've got to get back to the road. Oh, please be thick enough that we don't have to worry about thin ice, too, on top of everything. Okay, good. Looks like that's the case. Is, yeah, the ice is thick enough. So if I can hit the road, we'll continue along that. And hopefully... get our way towards the mine. Once we reach the mine, we might be in for a huge stockpile of stuff, because it is a gigantic place. If it is as big as it was in uh, the story mode, which I'm guessing it will be, it is just stuffed to the brim with all kinds of stuff in it. Okay, is that a stump or is that a creature up there? I think that's just a stump. No, it moved. So it's some kind of animal. It's bigger than a wolf, I think. Uh, possibly a bear. Maybe a moose. I'm gonna try not to get too close to it. Yeah, just see if I can keep going on my way all the way around. God, this was probably such a dumb move to have made. But, like, my options were either keep at the mine and eventually go after I kept emptying our resources that were... Or, sorry, keep at the prison and just keep emptying resources until I didn't have nothing go anyway, or go when I did. So I feel like no matter what, it, like, was going to happen, I would try this. My fingers feel numb. Now just keep going. We've come this far, condition is actually pretty high. Granted, we're losing temperature steadily. It's not super steadily like all three, though. 
Ooh, the trees are looking a bit torn up, though. I wonder if that means there's supposed to be a moose in the area. I mean, I don't have the equipment to deal with it, so... I'd rather it be a moose than a bear, though. Because moose, we can probably be left more alone by it. Maybe that's even what I saw behind us there. I know, I know. We at least are on the road. We're closing the gap towards the mine. Just gotta get inside and then we're good. I don't actually know what that memento hint is towards. I don't know if it's meant for, like, uh... To say, like, this is where the passcode is going to be hidden. Just gotta keep moving. Thankfully, I think we'll have the wind at our back for a while, so that might push us a little faster towards our destination. But if we're lucky, we can get to the mine, find everything we need, even find extra bonus stuff and resupply, and then we can try to figure out our way back. Truth be told, I think there might even be a way to, like, shortcut your way back from the mine using the mountaineering rope in one of the rivers. I'm not 100% sure, because it has been a while since I played the Winter Mute and gone through it. But I feel like there might have been a shortcut back. Well, we're making our way. Looks like this area... Not sure if, like, earthquakes happened or what, but it's definitely pretty torn up here. Yeah, still says the mine is this way. I don't even know if there would be anything around here, like, uh... You know what, there is a cave... I don't know how much further we still have to go. So it might be worth it checking to see if we can, like, just shelter up here for a little bit. Okay. So this is the wedge cave. Is there anything actually inside here, or is it completely empty? Oh, it's completely empty. I mean, we are at least getting a little bit of warmth back, so I might just, like, keep us back here. And... Have a little bit of food. Okay, all well, truth be told, though... Okay, you know what? I'll switch hats, because that one had more durability to it. Or is it a bad idea to be in here, because we have the storm possibly blowing in? Okay, let me see where all my weight is, too, because, like... Mm. Am I carrying those other trail boots on me still? No, I'm not. You know what? If it is just, like, some clothing stuff like this, I'd probably be better off just dropping it here. Try and get the weight out of the inventory. I'll do that with the scrap metal, because again, we got a hacksaw. Yeah, in case it is a storm blowing in, and I don't really have the resources to wait it out, I'm going to keep pushing forward. It's not the smartest idea to make. But all I need to do is reach the mine, and then I know we're in shelter. And I'll be okay for a while. Damn. I'm freezing. I know we are. But we are closing the distance, too. 
I am very, very thankful we haven't had any other uh, Timberwolf packs encountered. It makes me wonder maybe Wintermute just increased the frequency of packs in the area for the sake of it. Because when I was playing Wintermute, it seemed like there were two or three packs on the way up to the mine. Oh, why did I open my mouth? That's Tim- yeah, that's Timberwolves. That's a pack of at least four. I'm hoping with the flare out, they won't come in at me. Okay, I think it's working to keep them... They aren't coming in to bite, but they are going to trail me all the way as I keep going. Please don't be much further. God, I... I keep on, like, describing my worst-case scenarios, and the game keeps deciding to indulge me in them. But yeah, they are at least being kept back by the flare. I don't think it's too much further to the mine. I mean, the signs might be giving me false hope, but I never know. Well, we've got a fair bit of time until the flare runs out, and I still have a second one as well, so... We're not completely out of options. We're getting close, I'll admit. But not entirely yet. Just gotta keep pushing. Keep on keeping on. Okay, looks like... Okay, the road does keep going. Oh boy. You guys are also still keeping on keeping on, so it's actually a pack of five. But that's what I wanted to see. That's the edge. That's the edge of the mine. Through sheer stupidity and stubbornness, we have made it. Oh no! Mule bridge broken. Oh crap! 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 Realize that. So, how am I supposed to get across? Oh, I. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to think of what options I've got from here. It's like, I don't know how to go to get over there. That's the mine, I'm pretty sure. But, like, the bridge is completely out. So I have... Oh, wow, wait, what is this? Is this a prepper cache, or like a survival bunker? It is! Holy crap! And it's stockpiled, too! Oh my... It's a cured... Holy shit! Okay, this was a stupidly good stroke of luck that should not have happened at all. But I am so thankful it's here! Holy crap! We've got Storm Lanterns. Two storm lanterns, survival bow, arrows, ho! Oh. Lantern fuel, snares! 
God, okay, this changes things up a fair bit. A hunter's revolver. Vintage hand cannon style. Stout construction allows for deadlier shots distance. Well, I am... And food at all. <laughs> and water! I didn't realize this was here. I thought we just were completely screwed because of the lack of, a. Uh, what seemed to be a lack of way over to the mine, but this is incredible to come across. That'll come in handy. I've got to see everything I want to drop and leave here, because... I mean, I could live here for a very long time. God, it... I could scout the area and try to figure out the way to the mine and then just use this as our base. Like, look at the... the contain... <clears throat> Lantern fuel, firewood, wool scarf, whetstone match... Oh my god. This went from, I might have just screwed ourselves, to holy crap. This is just the mother load of all mother loads. Well, first things first, let's actually get ourselves some food and water in. Because, oh, this feels so good to have found. Oh, oh, oh. I did not realize this would be right here. I thought I was completely screwed. Actually, I should grab one of those storm lanterns and just see. Well, let me take a look around here. Like, apparently we have the hatch door open. So at least that's some nice lighting in here. Book, hey, chips. Later. Another flare. And if I ought... Oh, my. This is amazing to have come across. I don't want to take everything because that's just going All to. This gear is slowing me down. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. We just have so much on us now. Okay, 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 1 1.5. So this we can replace with that. And I've got to do some inventory management because yeah, I've got too much crap on me. Okay, we'll leave all the wood here. Wood can go in that one. Um, where else do I have weight in? I know I've got the hacksaw, the flashlight. All the fuel can go away. That should be a fair bit there. Three of the spray paints or spray cans. I can switch, or I can put on the... I can wear that instead. I actually have a jacket I can wear that's in here, too. I still feel like there's got to be a way to get to the actual mine. I just don't know how. I don't know if it's like I'll have to climb down and up or something else. But I feel like there still has to be a way to reach it. Uh, this was just a mother load to come across. I might have to drop some gear. Oh, you know, I probably should have left the skillet back at uh, the prison. I didn't need to bring that with me. And you know what? Let me see about repairing that quickly. Just to help hopefully get us a little bit more of our uh, warmth coming back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we are in far better position than we just were. I'm going to just pop up quickly again, see if the wolves are still around us or they might have moved out. Oh, I, I wonder if there might even be a hatchet in there, because that's still... I and mean, we do have the survival bow now with us. 
but I have no idea how I would get over to the mine itself there. Like, it just seems like this is... Oh, I have no idea. The storm is coming in, though, so we might as well just stay in the uh, bunker for a while. Probably not even a point in trying to. Yeah, hatches required. That's one thing this place doesn't seem to have. It seems like that's my... The one tool I always cannot seem to find that easily is the hatching. Okay, but we'll get that on. Take a little look around. Everything's basically been searched in that, so we should be good to leave it. That's just the rune flare. The bed we'll be able to use. Uh, work pants, some books. Oh, magazine back. You know what? Yeah, let me take the stay on target. What have we here? Oh, that'll actually help for our archery, so that's good. Uh, cured gut. The hunter's revolver. Cured birch saplings. Cured gut. Cured mate. Oh, God, there's so much good stuff here. Even cured rabbit? I might actually be able to even, like, make myself... ...something with the rabbit skins that are there, because I... Yeah, like, I could make myself a rabbit skin hat, although... Uh, if I had one more rabbit pelt, I could make the... I'll probably try to save those, see if maybe I can make the rabbit skin gloves. Although I do have the gauntlet, so it's not a big focus. The bear hide. I'm trying to remember. I could even try making a bearskin coat. Holy crap. Because I think there's enough cured gut with everything here, isn't there? There's three. Oh, maybe I'm one short, but with everything I've got, I might be able to find it. Oh, there's even a cured deer hide on the wall. Yeah, this is basically home sweet home for now. Oh, and there's even a cooking pot. But there's no place... Yeah, I'd have to make the fire outside, but again, that's not even a problem. For now, I think it's just going to be... Turning the light off, getting some food in us, and ending this episode with this miraculous find. I'll have to scout and figure out about the mine. I'm hoping it's not just like a dead end and I've like, screwed myself over coming up here. Oh, actually, no, I haven't screwed myself over. If I didn't find this, then yes, easily I did. But because this was here in such a stupidly lucky stroke, we're in a decent spot. But we're going to end this episode here with this recovery, because, oh, wow. Yeah, uh, this is remarkable. Thank you all for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like this video and just like how stupidly lucky this was, be sure to give us a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video or episode, Survivors, please remember, as always, take care and stay alive.